now with the given problem of it says solve for x and we are given that problem now the first thing that we can do is remember we said um there are two laws of logarithm that you can use now i'm going to use one of those laws if we can um look at the way i'm going to approach it there are different ways we can approach it now the two can go backwards to become a power so this becomes x squared plus log 3 over 4. Now, if I make the negative log go to the other side of the equal sign, it will become log 2x plus 3 over 4. And then, now this is log x squared. Now, you can notice that they never indicated any base. It means everything is in base 10. So now, because I am adding, in this case, when I write it as log, using the laws of logarithms, I think the first law, if you are adding your multiply, so you have got log x, log x times 3 over 4, because it's the first law of logarithms, is equal to log 2x plus 3 over 4. Now, because I have got a log on the other side and a log on the other side and everything is multiplying, uh, in this case, I can drop the log and have x squared times 3 over 4. I just drop the log. Do the same on the right other side. On the right hand side is 2x plus 3 over 4. So this is one of the rules on the logarithm equations that I'm using. If I can show you that one. I'm using the first rule. If you remember, we said log base A of B and log base A of C. I can drop the logs. I'm not cancelling, by the way. I just drop the logs. It means B is equal to a C. That is similarly in this case so the next thing i'm supposed to do then is to solve for x so if i'm to solve for x uh, given that uh, scenario now i can um in a way this is same as saying 3 over 4 x squared and then minus 2x minus 3 over 4 is equal to a 0. So I can multiply everything by 4 to get rid of that 4. Multiply everything by 4. So what I'm going to be having will be 3x squared and then 4 times 2 is negative 8x and then the 4 will cancel that minus 3 is equal to 0. So it's up to you how you want to simplify that. You can use your quadratic equation, if you still remember, where your a is equal to 3, your b is negative 8, and your c is negative 3. With the quadratic equation, x is equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this is now algebra and it is up to you how you want to get your x. So in this case, x is equal to now minus negative 8 plus or minus b squared is negative 8 squared minus 4 a is 3 c is negative 3 all over 2 and our a is 3 so we are going to get our two values of x in that case and if i can write take a calculator 
for our two values of x. If I can punch that, it's um, negative b, negative 8, plus square root of negative 8 squared minus 4 a c which is negative 3 all over 2 a now if i get that my first value x is equal to 3 now if i look at the other one so the first one x is equal to 3 when it's positive and x is equal to negative 1 over 3 so I've got x is equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 1 over 3. Now, if I can then take the value of x and prove it in my with my calculator, just to prove the two values of x, where x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 1 over 3, if I can take it to the original, it is 2 log in this case is in base 10 now we say x is 3 plus log 3 over 4 and then minus log 2 times 3 but I need another Okay, it's 2 times 3, that is fine, plus 3 over 4, and then I close that bracket. You can see I'm getting a 0 in the first one. Now, I'm going to change in that case. I'm going to put a negative 1 over 3, negative 1 over 3, so the first one is correct. Again, so I got that, and then in here also I put negative one over three, and then I'm getting an error. So, which means in this case, x is equal to 3 and x is not equal to negative 1 over 3. So, my answer in this case is x is equal to 3. Now, we have come to the end of our lesson. Thank you.